Okay, Bismillah. Uh, this is uh, just a simple video how to uh, have online live meetings with your students. Uh, so you've been recording videos for your for the lectures, etc., and for the tutorials. So uh, now I just would like to show you how to easily and very promptly uh, connect online with your students. Now I have actually uh, an, uh, set announced to students that they can meet with me every Tuesday at 10 a.m. So I already send the announcement, they all know it, so all I need to do is just to show you actually how to be able to do it. So the first thing is, you go here, in this, uh, in, the, in your menu, you have to find a place where they can come to find that. So this is actually the, the, the end result, is something that I've, I have put a link that I called live meetings, but you can just do it differently. I'd like to show you how to have some link that is going to, when you click on it, take you to this Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And um, so the first thing is this, on this, you hover your mouse over the plus, and then you find this uh, uh, content area to add or model page. What I would like to do is to go for the tool link. This is what we're looking for. We're going to check the tool link. Now the tool link is that this is actually the tool you're going to choose which tool you would like to give them a link to, and that's what you'd like to choose. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So now you, you call it live meetings or whatever you want. So you can call it also Blackboard Collaborate Ultra or whatever. So this is available to, based on whatever you like to name it. And then make sure that you click on available to users. If you don't, it's not going to be too available to users. But if you forget, you can still be able to make it available later. So just make sure that it's, it's available. You click on submit and then here it is. You see, this is the live meeting that I just added. It just becomes at the bottom. The one that I added before is still here, but I just added the, the new one is going to always be in the bottom. So you can just move it around the, this arrow, up, down arrow, and you can move it whatever you want it to be. And I suggest you move it to somewhere that students are, going, are not going to be missing it. And of course, you need to send an announcement about it. So this is, let's say, my new one. And then if you click on it, it will take you immediately to the same place. It's just Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And once you're here, you have two places. You have this course room, which is always available, which means students can also connect to it. To just get into this course by clicking into these three dots and then join the course, course room. And then they're going to be able to do it. I'm not going to do it right now because I'd like to show you the other option, which is create a session. Create a session is basically the same thing, uh, but it's just for the short period of time. It's not going to be available all the time, only for a specific period of time. You create a session, then you, you give it a name, a date and time, when it starts, when it ends, and then early entry, people can get in at this time, as early as this time. And then there are some basic options that you can also change, but basically that's what you need. And then you click on save, it will just allow you to, to add that. Now I need to give it a name, uh, and then so I can make it available, so I can save it now. And that's it. Once it's available, the same idea. It shows you something like this, but it's going to be only available at a specific time. I'm just going to delete it like this is it. I'm not going to join it because I'd like you to uh, join here. I don't want my students to get confused and join here because this is the place that I, I don't do anything. I just tell them, go to this course room and then you join. You also, uh, before I can join, I'd just like to show you that actually you can see the reports that how many people joined. And if you don't allow, want this to be allowed, like this uh, lock, you can lock the course room, which means it's not going to be available. Students cannot go at any time and join in there. Um, so uh, let's just view the reports. The reports allows you to see, okay, how many students got in and what time and for how, how many of them at the same time. You see that this is the one that I had last time. I can see the report and this can give you some idea about the attendance, or how many people participated and uh, how they, they left to join many times, etc. How, for how long did they stay connected, things like that. So you can, you can find this type of information to monitor the participation of your students. You can also export it to an Excel sheet so you can save it for later, uh, etc. So now let me show you how it is going to look like when you, well, if you join the course room, 
this is going to be a new window that is going to appear. Now I don't know if this is going to work out correctly because my microphone is currently used by the software recording this but now it is going to uh, ask me to join and probably set up my microphone and uh, if you'd like to also enable your webcam you can do so as well but I don't want to. So anyways that's uh, the thing. Uh, now I see that there, there are already 14 students that are connected at this time and uh, you can see that if they have chatted these are the people that are currently online these are the students that are online you can just write type something to them or or to, uh, just to to everyone or just to moderators specifically so you can say something uh, like uh, okay uh, and basically uh, you can uh, start by just uh, Click on this button to allow your microphone to work. If you'd like to um, like share something, you can do uh, share your video basically. But if you'd like to share your screen, you can just go here. Actually, it's much more convenient. If you'd like to share a black a, a blank whiteboard, so they can all see whatever you're going to write something. If you want, if you'd like to share just a screen of of an application or a file, and uh, you can do a lot of different things that you can check here. So now. Um, you can uh, see that you can ask them to if they would like to talk they can also uh, use their microphone and they can talk to you and uh, yeah so basically that's it once you're done you can just I mean uh, close or I don't know how to uh, probably it's from here that you can leave yeah you can leave the session so this is where you can leave the session and that's it so that's it for a short tutorial on how to use this uh, Blackboard Collaborate and how to meet online with your students. Now I'm going to stop this video and meet with my students. Okay, salam alaikum.